Hey, what's up guys? Let's talk about music ownership for a second. Some of you guys have different opinions about this and whatever, but it all depends on your preference because your music is your music. It's not owned by anybody else. But if you're under a label or you're under a company, then it's now a little bit tricky. It's now a bit different. So the difference between an independent artist and an artist that is signed to like a record label company or something like that is that an independent artist can do whatever they like with their production or their work they don't they are not bound to any contract that gives them certain rules towards their work but if you are under a record company you do you cannot just do what you want with your music it's not all the way your music that's the difference so when you're still up, up and coming and you're not signed to any record label your music is only yours so that's why we have companies like samro that will help us protect those ideas and keep them safe and be able to get compensated if they are to be used by somebody else or another company. So when you own your own music, you can do what you like with it. You can uh, play it anywhere. You can give it to anyone or basically license it to anyone because whenever you give somebody, like let's say for instance, you give a content creator your music as background music or they just want to use it in their video, in their content, or even if it's an ad for something or whatever, if it's basically them using your music, you are supposed to license that music to them. So licensing is basically giving them rules and saying that, okay, you only have the right to use my music in such and such a way for this period of time and whatever rules you might want to come up with because it's all up to you there's no set rules for this you have to choose what you want this person to do with your music the parameters of use so that that person if they agree they agree and then you know it protects your music and then if they're paying you a certain amount or if it's a mutual collaboration thing where you know it's a service for service it's up to you it's all written down and you know it all happens like that or maybe you might choose to actually sell your song or sell your music to someone else to release as their own you have to have something written down that you know can you know protect you from that depending with you know who it is if it's just a verbal thing it can be a verbal thing just be like okay dude if you make a million out of my music i, I didn't want to cut but you can pay me a little money for now it's all different it's always good to make sure that if you're making something that you're really fond of because we make a lot of songs but there's songs that we really favor and we really feel like you know what this is my defining song and i don't want anybody else to have the song it's good to have that song licensed and make sure that it's copywritten so that that nobody can steal it or nobody can reuse it without compensating you if you have that type of a song just make sure it's protected so that you can you can use it for yourself but if you have songs that you're not really sure of you can go ahead and sell them to other people and then they can go and license them and so forth but now if you're under a record label you cannot do that the record label actually owns part of that song or sometimes they might actually own the whole song and a lot of people don't understand this when it comes to uh, working with a record label. You won't be able to own your own music. That's what that means. It's basically a job that you get when you sign a contract to a record label. It's basically like working a nine to five, although you're just making music. So let's take, for instance, a company that makes bread. If you go and work for a company that makes bread, if you actually came with a recipe of making that bread and that company says, OK, come make the bread with our company and we're going to you know, make sure the bread is in every store and everybody's going to eat it you know, in the morning and at lunch or whatever. You actually are selling your intellectual property to that company. That bread might be in your name when it's going out, like, like basically Jordan's. You know, Michael Jordan does not own the shoe Jordan. It's actually another company that owns that. I think it's Nike, you know, so you are just a name that is being bought into the company. If you want, if you want to leave your record deal or leave or whatever, you're actually going to leave your music or you're going to have to pay for that music. So that's basically what that means when your record deal, it depends on the contract that you're given by this uh, record company, because you know, it, it's all different. It, uh, the percentages are different. The rules are different. And the way you're going to work with the record label is different. It's not always the same. Not all record deals are bad because you know, some turn out sour and then you hear people complaining like MT wanted to leave ambitious because things went south or whatever. It's just dependent with the deal and with you as a person and what you wanted to do. Because some people get into record deals and then they figure out that ah, it's not their thing, but then now you're in it. You already signed a little bit of your life in your music away. Now you owe them albums, you owe them music. Now you're going to have to make bitter music, not really feeling what you're doing because you feel like you're stuck. So it's something that you want to know that if you're going to be independent, 
and you want to own your own music it means you now have to stand for your music if it's releasing it you have to release it and make sure you do the promotion make sure you put in all the money to you know to get it done and make sure that it's out there on the public but if you sign to a record to record company they are going to pay for everything but they have to get their money back through the sales and all the work that you are going to have to put in to promote the music and actually put the music out there so it can be uh sales it can be live shows and so forth things that just really make money from your music so that's the difference you know uh, between being signed and being independent it's all about the ownership and you knowing what music ownership is and knowing how far you can go with owning your music if you feel like you do not have enough knowledge or you don't have enough resources to do so much with your music, but you really feel like it's something that you can really bet on, then go ahead and get signed to a label. They will actually put you in the right place and actually help you push your music forward. But you just have to understand that they are now taking a little bit of your ideas and owning a little bit of that music. Well, not exactly a little bit because they usually own most of it, you know. So just understand that and know that before you do anything because some of you guys that are here on the channel might actually get signed to a record label and you don't understand exactly what's going to be happening when you're signed because everybody wants to be signed. Everybody's crying out, I, I want to be signed to somebody. I want to be signed to a record label. I want to work with this guy and whatever. But not understanding what comes in, it's actually a job. It's a job that you're getting into. It's not a friendship where you think like you, you think that the record label is going to your friends they're gonna be calling you in the morning when you get sick they're gonna be visiting you in hospital they're gonna be your buddies they're not gonna be your buddies it's your boss you're gonna have bosses you're gonna have someone that's cutting you a check whenever payment comes in you're not gonna be your own boss it's, it's basically a job the job that you're saying that you're, you don't want to work a nine to five job or a desk job or whatever it's more or less the same when you're doing music you're just doing something you love to earn money for a company but it doesn't mean that it's not a job but when you're doing it on your own you are the head of your own business that's basically what that means you're just an independent musician that is independent of any other bigger company i hope you guys understood that and it really makes sense but you let me know down in the comments what you think about owning music you let me know if you want to get signed or you're just good being an independent artist drop your comments down below guys leave a like if you really like this video i'll see you guys in my next video i'm x and i'm out peace <music>